If you haven't heard of Movember before, you don't have to look any further than the faces of Austin Matthews, Justin Bieber for like one glorious year, Ron Burgundy from Anchorman, probably like an uncle or grandfather or coach in your life. That's right, I'm talking about the hairy lip, the tea soaker, the upper mop, mustaches. But we're not just all about the greasy dusters. Movember is a men's health charity and we focus on changing the face of men's health, stopping men all around the world from dying too young. We do that by raising funds and awareness in three main areas of focus, mental health and suicide prevention, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Men on average are dying six years younger than women. And that may not sound like a lot, but that's 52,650 episodes of your favorite TV show. I feel like maybe only Grey's Anatomy would have that many. It's time you're not able to spend with friends and family. It's a huge stat. This is largely because of the huge cloud hanging over men. We don't gather like women tend to do. We don't talk openly about our physical and mental health. We've been taught that this isn't what a real man should do. And to put it bluntly, that attitude is killing men and boys too young. But I'm here to help, to get you guys to be on top of your health and start changing that statistic. Did you know that gender is one of the strongest and most consistent predictors of health and life expectancy? Men die on average six years earlier than women, and biology is only a small part of this. Most of it's down to things that are preventable. These are complex, but not unsolvable. Firstly, men are often slow to act when they experience a health problem, and when they do, it's often too late. The way boys and men are socialized and raised plays a big role here. Traditional notions of masculinity prohibit men from asking for help for fear of being weak. As a result, men don't share when things get tough, as showing emotion is seen as not manly. That attitude penetrates every aspect of our health and has negative consequences. As you age, the prostate gland can become a bit weaker and enlarged. This could be a symptom of prostate cancer. It's important to know potential symptoms of this. While it's not always indicative of cancer, it could be a sign of something else wrong with your prostate. Get regular checkups, talk to your doctor about a PSA test for a good baseline. While it's not necessarily a diagnostic tool in itself, it can help catch the stages of prostate cancer early. Be an advocate for your own health. One in nine Canadian men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. And while that sounds like quite a lot, that number has actually improved in recent years. It's estimated that there are over 9.9 .9 million people living with or beyond prostate cancer globally right now, largely thanks to major advancements in research and treatment over the past 15 years. Early detection is key. Tell your dad, tell your grandpa, tell your uncles. As soon as they turn 50 years old, happy birthday, man, go get your prostate checked. If you're of African or Caribbean descent, or there's been a family history of prostate cancer in your family that you know of, your risk is a bit higher so you should be getting your prostate checked at 45 years old. We can't stress enough, and here's why it's so important to be on top of our own physical health, going to see our doctors and speaking openly. Early detection, when cancer is isolated to the prostate, leads to a 98% survival rate. Whereas later detection, when cancer is moved outside the prostate, usually to the bones, survival rate drops drastically to 26%. So what do you need to do? Go to the doctor, ask about PSA testing, and catch prostate cancer early.